In the previous videos, we talked about nodes and ways and relations, and let's just revisit that a little bit first. So we said that a node was a set of coordinates, so it's a latitude and longitude, um, along with a set of tags. And we said that a way was uh, an ordered list of nodes. and some tags. We said that a relation was a collection of nodes, ways, and relations. So we'll just say collection of nodes, ways, and rels, um, along with some tags. So this is all the information we've talked about uh, objects having in OpenStreetMap. But in fact, they have other information, and we'll talk about that. So the first piece of information is uh, it has the user who's made the who's made the object. And before we go too too deep into that, let's let's get into this analogy of OpenStreetMap as a wiki. Um, now, if you've ever used a wiki like Wikipedia, you know that it's a, a web page where a bunch of people can collaborate and edit text. Um, and you can go back and forth and look at the changes that have happened in time with that text. So uh, let's just do a tiny example. So the quick brown fox is, the, is our sentence. And let's say Bob made that. And let's say Alice goes in and she says, no, I don't like the word quick here. Uh, I'm going to change that to the small, small brown fox. Um, and then, so that's Alice. And then let's say Fred goes in and says, Okay, well, I don't like the word fox, so I'm going to say the word, oh, I don't know, cat. And when you look at it, when you look at the final result on the web page, you don't necessarily see all this history. All you're going to see is, uh, if I can get this to work, the small brown. But inside the computer, you know, it's going to contain all of this history, and you're going to be able to see who made what change, and when they made that change, and all that other great stuff. So OpenStreetMap is the same way. Uh, it contains all the history of uh, all the changes that are made. But to do that, it needs to store a little bit more than just the bare object data. So it contains what, um, so objects contain what's called metadata. And all metadata is, is it's data about data. And in this case, the, the core data, the real thing that we care about, is this geographic data. So it's our geo data. But we need to, con but we need to track other things. So we need to you know, track who made what, who did what, when they did it, and um, you know what's the current version, and of course our question of why. Um, I think we'll have to dig into why in a later video, though. So let's just focus on the, these things of who did what and when. Um, so. When you log into OpenStreetMap, you have a username associated with you, and everybody has a username. Um, let's just, for example, say that our username was Bob, and I'm pretty sure that Bob is a real username in OpenStreetMap. Um, but forgiveness to Bob here for, for this example. So our username is Bob, and let's say that we're doing this today. Um, in real time, this is uh, July 27th. 
July 27, 2011. Um, in the U.S., we would write that as 7 27 2011. Um, but I know that, that in other countries, you write it different. The uh, ISO standard, the international standard is, oops, uh, it would be 2011 uh, 7 27. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to this. Uh, we'll stick to this as our way of representing this date. So we've got our username, we've got our modification time, and um, we also have this other attribute called the version. Um, and we'll get into what that means in a second. So let's say that we've got uh, an artificial map here with just a few points, just one point, right? And we'll make that zero, zero. Latitude and longitude for that is zero, zero. We've got our one point here and Bob put that in. So the user is Bob and the modification time, uh, the M time, is uh, 2011 727. Um, and since he's creating this object, he's creating this object from scratch, it starts out with version 1. Now I want to make something clear here. These are not tags. So the username is not a tag, the modification time and, and um, the version uh, ID, these are not tags. These are metadata. So don't confuse them with tags. They don't have key value pairs um, in, this, in quite the same way. So just be aware of that. So let's say we've, we've got this, this node here and he wants to move the node. Um, let's say this was a restaurant, um, and let's actually give it some tags. So let's say um, it had amenity equals restaurant, and uh, the name was um, Good Eats. So it's this Good Eats restaurant. Um, he thinks it's here. But later on, he realizes that he uh, made some bad measurements, and it's actually over here at 3.3. 3. So the first thing he could do is he could just totally delete this node, and he could make a new node over here at 3.3. 3. Um, and that's fine for this example. But in OpenStreetMap, we have the ability to do a move operation. So it's better for him to actually move the node over to this, this new point. And if he does that, it keeps all of this, this tagging data uh, all by itself. And this new, but this new object will change some of its metadata. So the username will still be Bob because Bob is the one changing it. Um, but the modification time will change. And so let's say he did this on January 1st, 2012. So this would now be uh, 2012-01-01, and the version would change from 1 to 2, so it would be version 2. Now you, you might be asking, okay, I see why we could do that, but why not just delete the, the, the node? And uh, I don't know if you can hear that noise, I apologize. Um, but let's, let's say we have a road. And we said that a road was represented by a way, which is a series of points. So let's let's have our road. It's got three points. Okay, and that's that's how it was drawn in OpenStreetMap. But when you actually go out to the road, you see that it's curved. And we want to make um, this version of the road in OpenStreetMap more reflective of reality. So how do we do that? Well. Uh, the first way we could do that is, you know, first of all, we uh, we need to, well, we would probably want to make a few nodes here and here, but I think it's a good idea to move this node also. So we'll move this node. Instead of deleting it, we're going to move it. Um, and if we do that, then this node will increment the version number. So version plus one, um, the M time will be new. It'll be whatever time it actually is, um, but this way, the way itself, 
will stay the same. So the way version is the same. And uh, of course, I've mentioned this in the previous video that every object has an ID. Um, the ID will also stay the same. So the ID, the object, is the same. The m time is new and the version is new. Um, and the user is the last user to touch the object. It's the last user. So if instead of Bob, Alice did this, right, so Alice made this change, right, the user would not be Bob, but it'd be Alice. Okay? And that's important. So you know, we can go back in history and we can see this this object ID, let's say this is object five, right? So object five, five version one user was Bob, right? But object ID five version two user was Alice. Okay, and that's important um, because Basically, any user can change any object in OpenStreetMap. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here, and we'll continue on with this discussion about um, object ID numbers. Sorry about um, yeah, object ID numbers, version numbers, and how things get saved into the next video.